learners i welcome you all to this uh, video program on ocean floor and relief features part 2 in the previous part of this program that is part 1 of ocean floor and relief features we studied about different techniques employed in measuring the depths of the oceans like uh, eco sounding technique and uh, satellite altimeters how they map the uh, bottom or ocean floor uh, we had uh, studied about that and we also studied about hypsographic or hypsometric curve which is a representation of re different relief features in the lithosphere and hydrosphere with respect to the sea level and it is represented in the form of cumulative height frequency curve although it doesn't represent the exact location of the relief features but uh, uh, it uh, is a relative representation of all the features with respect to the sea level and uh, we also studied about different relief features of the ocean floor you came to know that just like continents ocean floor also has relief features and uh, they uh, are from uh, starting from the continental shelf the, which is a uh, continuity of the continents and is having a lesser slope like uh, ranging between 1 to 3 degrees and then we come to the steeper continental uh, slope uh, which is uh, having a, a greater slope of about uh, 5 to 60 degrees and uh, then comes the huge depositional zone which is called the continental rise at the bottom of the continental uh, slope area where it merges with the deep sea plain and uh, then comes the uh, deep sea plain which, the, which is the extensive flat plain uh, with few relief features like uh, uh, mid oceanic ridges and sea mounts geots and then we also studied about oceanic trenches which are uh, deep narrow uh, valleys uh, uh, with uh, very uh, steep slopes and uh, they are the deepest part of the oceans so in this video program we'll study about the different relief features of the some of the major oceans of the world like atlantic ocean indian ocean and pacific ocean so we are getting into more detailed study of the oceans and their relief features and uh, after viewing this video program you can also compare the bottom reliefs of the different oceans of the world the major oceans we are covering in this are uh, atlantic ocean indian ocean and pacific ocean now let us start with the bottom reliefs of the atlantic ocean now short uh, introduction to all oceans we have already done in the uh, video program on introduction to hydrosphere part 1 where we studied about all the major oceans of the world still uh, uh, i am just uh, giving a brief introduction like the word atlantic came from the greek word which means sea of atlas it is located between north and south americas in the west and europe in the east it covers an area of about 82 million square kilometers it covers 1/6 of the geographical area of the globe and half of the area of the pacific ocean the ocean is s shaped you must have studied in the uh, block uh, on lithosphere uh, in the chapter dealing with plate tectonics how uh, the land masses happen to be united in the form of pangaea and when uh, and how the north and south american portion of this pangaea uh, shifted towards the west and it led to the origin of atlantic ocean in the middle this uh, s shape also suggests that uh, continents on or land masses on both sides once form a contiguous part so they can jig uh, so fit you must have studied in the continental drift theory of wegener uh, the famous zig saw feat of uh, wegener in which the continents uh, on the left uh, of the atlantic ocean uh, roughly fits into uh, the eastern part of the atlantic ocean 
Now there are several marginal seas in the Atlantic Ocean like Mediterranean Sea, Weddell Sea, Nordic Sea, Hudson Bay, uh, Davis Strait. We have uh, covered these portions in pre previously also. Coming on to continental shelf of the Atlantic Ocean, its width varies between uh, 2 km to 80 km and it at few places it even exceeds 400 km. So extensive shelves are found around uh, Newfoundland, Greenland, Iceland and between Bahia Blanca to Antarctica. Continental shelves are narrow along uh, the coasts where mountains are found in vicinity. For example, the African coasts between the Bay of Biscay and Cape of Good Hope and the Bra Brazilian shelves. Important islands include Azores, Extension, Tristan Jutunha, uh, Falkland Islands, Shetland Islands, St. Helena, etc. Now coming on to mid-oceanic ridge of the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, it is one of the most important feature and uh, needs to be discussed in detail. It extends from Iceland in the north uh, to Bovet Island in the south covering a total length of about 14,450 kilometers and it is known as Dolphin Rise in the north and Challenger Rise to the south of equator. It is also known as Vivule Thompson Ridge between Iceland and Scotland. It is called Telegraphic Plateau to the south of Greenland and Iceland at about 55 degree north latitudes. This is because the first telegraphic cables were laid at this place and there are a number of branches running from this mid-oceanic ridge to the east and to the west dividing the Atlantic into several basins. Now these are the branch ridges, I'll name them and then we can uh, look for uh, these ridges in the figure. One is Newfoundland Rise, Azores Ridge, Sierra Leone Rise, uh, Para Rise, uh, Guinea Rise, Valves Ridge and uh, Rio Grande Rise. Now you must have noted that at some places I am calling Rise and some places I am calling Ridge. So what is the difference between them? The formation of both uh, ridges and uh, rise are similar, uh, like they are both associated with the diverging plates, but uh, the difference is only that the ridges are having uh, greater height compared to the rise. And um, so mid oceanic rise or ridges are similar in origin, and continental rise. rise uh, uh, happens uh, as we have mentioned earlier also it happens to be a, a huge depositional zone just uh, at the bottom of the continental slope where it merges with the deep uh, uh, sea plain. So the, uh, you should differentiate between continental rise, mid oceanic ridge and uh, mid oceanic rise. Now you can see in this figure on the bottom reliefs of Atlantic Ocean there are several ridges uh, as I have mentioned the Newfoundland Ridge, uh, Para Rise, uh, uh, Rio Grande Rise all can be seen in, uh, in this uh, figure and the mid oceanic ridge is the S shaped which is shown in the central white part of the Atlantic Ocean and um, the continents on both sides are also named. So you can go through these figures in detail and you can also search for some figures in the internet and uh, find if you happen to come across some good figures or good maps then you can locate all the ridges and all the basins. Now uh, coming on to basins of Atlantic Ocean. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge divides the Atlantic Ocean into two major basins that is the Eastern and the Western uh, Atlantic Basin. In the West there are four major basins uh, like uh, Labrador Basin and uh, North American Basin, uh, Brazilian uh, Basin and Argentina Basin. So since the mid-oceanic ridge divides the Atlantic Ocean into two major basins, the branch ridges which uh, arise from the mid-oceanic ridge divides it into further sub-basins. So western part is having four um, uh, basins which I have already told just now and the eastern part is having basins like uh, Spanish Basin, uh, Canary Basin, Cape Verde Basin, 
ಗಿನಿ ಬೇಸಿನ್ ಅಂಗೋಲಾ ಬೇಸಿನ್ ಕೇಪ್ ಬೇಸಿನ್ ಅಗುಲ್ಹಾಸ್ ಬೇಸಿನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಅಟ್ಲಾನ್ ಅಂಟಾರ್ಟಿಕ್ ಬೇಸಿನ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸೀ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಬೇಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬ್ರಿಜಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೇಮ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಲೊಕೇಶನ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಲೈಕ್ ರಿಜಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ವೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರಿಜ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸೀ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಪ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ರಿಜಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೇಸನ್ಸ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಿಗರ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಜುವಲೈಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಇನ್ ಯೋರ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡೌನ್ಲೋಡೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಇ ಗ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಜನರಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸಿ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಜಾಗ್ರಫಿ ನಾವು ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ಅಟ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ದಿ ಡೀಪ್ಸ್ ಮರೆ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಡೀಪ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅಟ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಓಷನ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅಟ್ ದೆಪ್ಸ್ ಬಿಲೋ ಫೈವ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಡೀಪ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೇಯಸ್ ಡೀಪ್ ಪೆಟೋರಿಕೋ ಡೀಪ್ ರೊಮಾಂಚಾ ಡೀಪ್ ಸೊ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಮೆನಿ ಡೀಪ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅಟ್ಲಾಂಟಿಕ್ ಓಷನ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಟು ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಓಷನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಓಷನ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದ ಬಾಟಮ್ ರಿಲೀಫ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಓಷನ್ Uh, as we have already mentioned it is one of the youngest oceans and the very complex uh, because the northern part is eastern and western parts are blocked by continents so uh, uh, it is having um, three distinct regional zones first one is the western zone which includes the area between the mid oceanic ridge and the african coast the second one is the eastern zone which is relatively deeper and third one includes the elevated portions uh, near the mid oceanic ridge and includes several island groups now uh, continental shelf of the indian ocean is more extensive and um, along the margins of uh, arabian sea and bay of bengal uh, it is uh, of the order of 600 kilometers wide uh, in this area and uh, along the eastern coast of africa around madagascar also huge extensive continental shelves are found now they are narrow along the coast of java sumatra and along australia as well as uh, northern coast of antarctica now uh, coming on to the most important part that is the mid oceanic ridge of the indian ocean it is about 9000 kilometers long so it, it is shorter compared to the atlantic ocean and the northern since the northern part is blocked by continents so it is not touching the two ends of the meridian like uh, it happened to be in the atlantic ocean the ridge is relatively wider and is not sharply turned into s shape like the way it used to be in atlantic ocean it is divided in the southern part this is an important feature in indian ocean that the ridge is divided in the southern part the northern part uh, above the equator is called lakadev chagos ridge then chagos saint paul ridge uh, between 0 to 30 degree south latitude and it is called amsterdam saint paul plateau between 30 to 50 degree south latitudes and after that it bifurcates into two the western part is called the kerguelen gosberg ridge and the eastern part is called the indian antarctic ridge now there are uh, uh, similar to the atlantic ocean there are several branch ridges from the main central ridge and they are like um, it's given in the slides akotra chagos ridge seychelles mauritius ridge madagascar ridge prince edward crozet ridge uh, cape rise andaman and nicobar ridge carlsberg ridge murray ridge you must locate these ridges in the figure over here and if you don't find most of the ridges in the figure don't get disappointed like i told you earlier you can go through the description of the ridges and you can see that uh, most of the ridges are named on the basis of their locations like uh, some are located in the vicinity of some islands so it is named on the basis uh, um, on the basis of that island's name 
you can see in this figure chagos lakadev ridge forms the central ridge of the indian ocean and then you can see the lighter portions uh, in the um, uh, ocean which is marked in light blue they are also the ridges and uh, you can see the southern in the southern part the ridge bifurcates into two here it's written south west indian ridge and southeast indian ridge so the two ridges which i mentioned there uh, that like the ridges uh, divided into two and then uh, you have one um, andaman ridge which is also called 90 degree east ridge because it is parallel to the 90 degree east meridian so uh, you can see the that also and then uh, uh, below it you can see the broken ridge and so many other ridges like Carl Carlsberg ridge you it's not located in this but based on the description you can visualize where it's located like it says it divides the arabian sea into two parts so it is found uh, in the mid of the arabian sea so similarly you can see that the um, basins there are uh, the central ridge divides the uh, indian ocean basin into two major basins western and eastern basins and then branch ridges also divide it into several sub basins like on the western side you see we have oman basin uh, arabian basin somali basin mauritius basin natal basin agulhas basin uh, the basins are found at depths uh, ranging between 2000 to 4000 meters and at uh, some places in the southern basins have um, uh, average depth around 5000 to 7000 meters also the eastern uh, basins include andaman basin cocos killing basin atlantic indian and uh, antarctic basin atlantic indian antarctic basin eastern indian antarctic basin so you can locate some of the basins here and uh, some of the basins on the ba uh, basis of look uh, description given in the text you can see uh, you can visualize where they are located now uh, coming on to deeps of indian ocean there is only one major deep in the indian ocean that is sunda deep or uh, located in the java trench it is situated along the fold mountains south of java island of indonesia you can see in this figure on the bottom reliefs of indian ocean java trench is located uh, just uh, below the, uh, the java island now we study uh, the bottom reliefs of the pacific ocean but before we come to the uh, relief features just uh, it is important to know that uh, the ocean is studded with huge groups of islands some are large continental islands like aleutian islands british columbian islands chilean islands we call these continental islands because the geomorphology is similar to the adjoining continents but due to some tectonic activity it has separated from the continents and uh, island arcs and festoons like kurile arc japanese archipelago philippines arc indonesian arc like in the previous part of this video program we studied how these island arcs have been formed along the subduction zones uh, uh, the denser plate gets subducted uh, beneath the uh, lighter plate and then it melts and then um, Uh, the molten magma penetrates through the fractures at this uh, and the, uh, these form volcanic islands so these are these uh, form also trenches are formed over this subduction zone and when the um, molten material penetrates through the fractures they come up in the form of volcanoes and so these form island arcs and festoons there are several small scattered islands also in the pacific ocean some are uh, classified on the basis of races like melanesia micronesia polynesia some are classified uh, on the basis of their uh, volcanic origin or activity like uh, hawaii islands and some are coral islands like elis fiji funafuti etc 
Now, coming on to continental shelf of the Pacific Ocean, it is quite extensive in the western portion along the Japanese Indonesian archipelago and along the eastern coast of Australia. And the eastern Pacific is relatively narrow where the average width is only about 80 kilometers and at few places it is only 45 kilometers wide. Now uh, one special feature of the ridges regarding the ridges of the Pacific Ocean is that uh, this ocean is devoid of any central ridge. So we uh, see one of the most important ridge and the um, huge uh, one is the East Pacific Ridge which is also called the Albatross Plateau and I will show you one figure which is the satellite imagery of the East Pacific Ridge and you can see the lighter portion in the Pacific Ocean stretching from California then throughout the ocean and then coming on to New Zealand area. This uh, is the entire portion is the East Pacific Ridge. This is an open source image. Uh, it was in public domain and it was taken uh, by uh, Itopo 2 and uh, from uh, NOAA uh, NGDC. NOAA is National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and NGDC is National Geophysical Data Center. So uh, this figure was in public domain and here uh, some of the features are quite invisible so I got this figure for you. Let us come to other ridges uh, which are also important like uh, Cocos Ridge uh, which further bifurcates into two parts uh, like uh, the eastern part is called uh, Felix Juan Fernandez Ridge and the uh, western part is called the South Eastern Pacific Plateau. There are other ridges like Hawaiian Ridge, Marcus Necker Ridge, Chatham Ridge. Hawaiian Ridge you can see in this figure it is located uh, near the Hawaiian Islands. You can see in the central part of the Pacific Ocean Hawaiian Ridge is shown and uh, you can see in this figure that there are several fracture zones also in the Pacific um, uh, which are very clearly marked in this figure. And uh, apart from ridges now uh, coming on to basins. The basins or depressions are formed, uh, found all over the ocean. Since uh, the ocean is devoid of any central uh, ridge, so it is not divided into western and eastern like we had in other uh, former two oceans we have discussed, the Atlantic Ocean and the Indian Ocean. Uh, so the important basins are Philippine Basin, uh, Fizi Basin, Aleutian Basin, West uh, uh, Caroline Basin and East Caroline Basin. Uh, so you can see most of the basins are uh, named on the basis of their locations. All these basins range between 4000 meters to 6000 meters. Depth you can see some of the basins located in this figure on the bottom reliefs of Pacific Ocean. There are 32 important deeps or trenches located in the Pacific Ocean. And you can see in the table here like Mariana Trench uh, with uh, and the deepest point of all oceans of the world is the Challenger Deep which happens to be in the Mariana Trench and it is 11,022 meters deep. Then we have Tonga Deep, Kuril Deep, Philippines Deep, Japan, Kermadec. Some of the deeps you can locate in this figure on the bottom reliefs of the Pacific Ocean. So in this video program we studied in detail the bottom reliefs of all the three major oceans of the world like the Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean and Indian Ocean. In the next video program we will study about distribution of temperature in the oceans. Thank you.